this is basically um, we have everything that we've uh, specified in the my form component, and um, this might not look exactly the way it looks here because we haven't done any of the styling yet. We're basically writing the HTML here. That's basically um, that's how you create the actual structure, but with CSS or SAS, that's how you uh, style it. So, okay, so let's keep on moving. So here in the div, let's give it a label of category. We're using the same, the and design component, which is the select. Select is basically the uh, drop down, the drop down menu. This is called the select tag. So. So we're basically going to specify all the properties here. So the, we're going to give it a placeholder of select category. Let's give it a name. We can do the name later. And um, we're going to give it an option of so give the value of electronics and a label of electronics. This is actually going to be in curly braces. So we're gonna have, have a little bit more um, options. So options is basically whatever, when you click on the select, these are basically the options. So we're basically specifying the options here. So goes. and uh, do sportswear. So if we take a look, so this is basically, so our options are working fine and uh, this might not look the way we wanted it to, but we, we will fix it um, soon. So also we're going to have the, uh, the one for the brand. The one for the quantity. And the one for the description. So, so for the description, we're going to use the text area instead of the, um, instead of the actual input because if you look back, so as you can see, the text area is actually a little bit bigger. It's meant for a lot of text and compared to the input fields. So, so we have the text area, enter description, and let's give rows four, and that's pretty much it. And then uh, we're also gonna add some buttons here. So let's add the buttons. So the text is going to be submit, this is the submit button. Let's uh, give it a type of primary. These are basically built in um, and design features like properties. So let's give it a, a break line. And here is basically we're going to have the the button for the viewing the products. So so far this is what it looks like. Okay, so we can also um, apply styles inline. This is called inline C CSS. So let's give it a margin. 
top of 10 pixels. Let's go to background color of, of green and a uh, border, border color green as well. So this is what it looks like now. And um, so now we can basically start the designing. So, so we can give it a class name of input fields. And um, one second. So, as you as you all remember, we we created the style. We already have the styles folder, so we're going to create a, an, another folder called components inside the styles folder. So this is basically for so. One way we can do it is that we might have like multiple components. So we might have, so it might be a good idea to have like multiple style sheets for each component so that it's, it looks so that the code is basically more organized. So, so we, we can create the style sheet for the form. And, and we can also import it here. Import. So we have to use actually, we have to use the at the rate components and the form. And make sure that, the, that this main.css is, um, is uh, imported here so that, so that um, whatever styles we have in the main.css gets applied to the entire web application and like the front end part of it. So, Basically, now we're, we can start styling. So we created the class. So, so basically, if you notice, um, so we created a class named input fields. So we basically give gave this entire div box a name of of uh, input fields. So now we're basically doing dot input fields. We're basically targeting that specific div box and now we're basically going to give give a um, apply styling to it so we can do give it a width of 35 percent and then margin auto to make sure we have equal margin on on all sides give it a padding of 20 pixels have a border radius of about five pixels and have a give it a box shadow Box shadows basically, if you can, if you notice around the borders, there's some shadow shadows here. So that's basically what bo box shadow is. So let's give it a box shadow of RGBA. Zero pixels, four pixels and 12 pixels. And um, so when, when I do div, this basically um, targets every single div that's inside the input fields. So I'm targeting all of the div boxes inside. So let's give it a margin bottom of 10 pixels. So as you can see, this is what it looks like so far. Um, very similar to to what we had previously. So we can also make some little bit more adjustments. So basically for the H1 tag, we can apply some inline CSS. Give it a text align to make it, to make the, uh, the H1 tag centered. So, and, um, and as you can see, this, this got centered. And um, what else can we do? Okay, as you can see, the uh, the select the selector for the category is kind of like this is not the way we want it to be. So we can basically um, fix that. So we go into the select tag and 
he can basically give it a style. This is basically inline CSS as well. Give it a width property of 100%. This should be in curly base, um, quotation marks. So as you can see, this is basically